Now for this course section, I want to create a brand new Django project. We could continue with the project we created in the last course section, but for one, I already want to practice again what we learned there so that you 100% know how to create Django projects. And in addition, I wasn't entirely happy with the project name. Because you might recall that in the last course section, we used the Django admin command, which is available because we installed Django globally with Python. We used this command to then run the start project subcommand and create a my page project. That's what we did in the last course section. Now, my page is a very generic name, not really very useful. Now, here, a better name could be Django Course, since the app we're going to build, the first website we're going to build, will be part of this Django Course. But in the last course section, you learned what Django projects are and what an app is in Django. And uh, you learned that a project is made up of multiple apps, but overall, a project is then not a collection of totally detached, unrelated apps, but instead a Django project is made up of multiple apps, which combined form the overall project, the overall website. And therefore here, the first website we are going to build is this challenges website, which is all about having these monthly challenges. Therefore, I'll name the project monthly underscore challenges, following the typical Python naming convention for folders, which contain an underscore if the word consists of multiple words. And I will create this brand new Django project here with this command. As a next step, I opened Visual Studio Code in a brand new window, and I'll again open a folder. You can also do this with file open here if you don't have that sidebar. And I will open this monthly challenges folder here. So that's now this new Django project opened up in Visual Studio Code. And in there, I'll now open my terminal and create a brand new Django app in this project, and that will be the challenges app. We do this by running Python 3 or just Python, depending on whether you have multiple Python versions installed on your system or not. Manage.py, start app, and then a name of your choice. And here I'll name this challenges, so that in the monthly challenges project, we have this challenges app, which will be responsible for displaying the challenges the user has. And if we then later would also add a feature for adding challenges, we could add another app, which we maybe name add or admin challenges or anything like that. But we don't need that here, so I will not add this app here. And we could also add such an admin functionality to the existing challenges app if we wanted to. It is always up to you whether you want to split features into multiple apps or merge them in one bigger app, which is part of that project. But that's also something we're going to take another look at later once we also build bigger demo applications. For the moment, we have the challenges app in this monthly challenges project. And that's now what I want to continue with. That's now where we will dive into the Python code and start writing some Python code on our own. Just two more things before we get started. I did make sure that I selected the correct interpreter for this project by again viewing this status bar and clicking on the chosen version down there and picking that Python version I installed in the last course section. That's one thing which I did here. And that gave me the VS Code folder with the settings JSON file. And in that settings JSON file, I also set the zoom level to a fixed value, which you don't need to do. I'm only doing that here for recording purposes. But I did add this Python language server entry here to use this other extension, which we installed, the PyLens extension for evaluating the Python code we're going to write. This is also something you might want to do to prepare your project for the code we're about to write. 
In addition, my folders and files here are green because I also initialized Git here. Git is a version control system, which is 100% optional. You can learn more about Git with the attached article, but you don't have to. You don't have to use Git. It's 100% optional and you don't have to dive into it if you don't know it yet. Now with that, let's continue and let's dive into that challenges folder to start writing some Python code. 